on the internet. If you don't already know, you should know. Ransom Riggs is the author of Miss Peregrine's Hope for Peculiar Children series. And Clara is the author of the Shatter Me series. Oh, look how beautiful. book to movie and book to TV adaptations, Tahara actually has a really cool announcement about the Shatter Me series. What is it? Shatter Me. So you guys are very familiar with the whole process of I don't know, translating your story, right? You're at the start of it, but still, it's like, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. Right. We're, it's like a trial by fire that we're sort of in the middle of. Yes, yeah. 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 Different stages. Yeah. So, so it'll be really informative because I feel like a lot of readers have so many questions about this process and they don't really understand yeah. how much the author is involved and all that jazz. We're happy to enlighten. Inform yes. And enlighten. <laughs> All the creative rights to your story is a big thing and I was interested in what your process was like in deciding who to sign it over to. I think you just want to make sure that whoever is adapting the material loves it and has a respect for the material. So you talk to whoever it is and you know tell you how they feel and what they think and and hopefully they've like read the book and stuff. And, yeah, yeah. And you have to, you just kind of have to use your gut instinct and say like, do do I think this is a this person would be trustworthy? And after that point, ninety nine percent of the time, the, the author is kind of removed from the process, and you just yeah. have to trust them. I totally echo that. I think that's exactly it. When I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to option the TV rights for Shatter Me, one of the most important things for me was talking to the people who wanted to option them and understanding that they'd read the book and that they understood the story. It's all really important. yeah. And you trust that they're gonna do the right thing with your characters yes. and all that jazz. Do you guys have a favorite book to movie adaptation, either TV or film, that you're like, I want mine to be just as good as that is? There have been so many good ones. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this is a surprise oh question. I have no you. idea. I have no idea. Comparison is the thief of joy. Michael Scott. No, I'm just kidding. Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Maze Runner, yeah. Tiffios. I thought the um, Duff was really great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now they're doing the Shadow Hunters into a TV series. It's the yeah. first time I've really been on the, I've read the books that yeah, are being turned yeah, yeah. into a series. And it's so exciting. And like watching that happen for Shadow Me will be so cool. Some people know that Shatter Me was first optioned for film by 20th Century Fox. And the option expired. And then it takes some time for you to get your rights back. And then that leaves it open for the property to be picked up by anybody else. I've now had experiences on both sides, dealing a little bit on the film side and then okay. having that not really develop into anything and then now with the TV side. So I'm very like cautiously optimistic, you know, mm -hmm. like sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. As long as it's in good hands, you just kind of feel good as the process is going along. Yeah. And yeah hopefully in your case and in my case, I've, I've felt sort of included along the way. Yeah. And in my case, Fox optioned the script, or Fox optioned the novel, and they said right up front, we're hoping that Tim Burton will direct this. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's and so then, cool. <laughs> and then he said yes, and I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, insane. Totally crazy. Yeah, um, yeah. Loved his movies growing up, huge fan, so it was like a dream come true. When someone like Tim Burton signs on to direct and adapt your material, you just kind of say, okay, okay here's the keys. <laughs> Uh, you, know, you do you. <laughs> don't crash the car, but I trust you. Yeah. You know, so that's kind of what the process yeah. has been like. Yeah, when I heard that, I saw it on one of the fan pages. I was like, oh my god. I'm still yeah. very yeah. excited. Pinching myself. It's amazing. It is. I'm really excited to see what comes of it. When you think about watching like the pilot or the film, for the first time, are you more anxious or do you feel like, okay, I gave it away, I trust them, I'm good? I'm in the early stages of everything, so I have, I don't know, I'm still sort of anxious. but. Excited, you know, not not bad anxious. How long did it take for you to really like feel like oh my god This is magic. It all felt like a weird dream that I might wake up and it wouldn't be the case anymore Until I showed up on the set. They brought me to the set and then I was like Oh my 
God, it's real, and I can <laughs> touch things, and I can poke that guy, and they'll, you know, it's real. And that's when it started to seem incredible and possible, and I'm just super excited. Yeah. I guess there's a yeah. little bit of anxious, but I feel like it could not possibly be in better hands, so 99% yeah. excited, 1% anxious. Now that Shatter Me is going to be potentially coming to TV rather than film, do you feel any differently about it? Are you more excited about how much story that allows? Yeah, totally. It's interesting because when I sold the film rights to Shatter Me, I actually sold the rights before the book even came out. Oh man. So, and it was, you know, so new, the series was so new, I hadn't finished writing all of the books. And now actually feels like the right time to be moving forward with something like this because there's so much more material and I know these characters so well and I can really see a different life for them on screen than I could have back then. As soon as I heard that, I was just thinking, will we get to see what happens after the end of Ignite Me? <laughs> if it happens, I mean, if it's like a really long series, you could get there. Right? Yeah, who knows? I mean, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Yeah, knows? we're hoping to, you know, I start with something like small. Yeah. yeah, just like, I mean, you can even get started. <laughs> just to get what started. What does happen after the end of a game? <laughs> can you tell us? Just whisper it to me. <laughs> I just remember that book talk and I was just like, I just want a little bit more. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe one day. It's okay. That's a good Maybe feeling to end day. the series yeah, with. Yeah. Not more, but yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> All of Rainbow's books, I'm just like, I just want a, a chapter more. more. <laughs> Yeah, well, with Rainbow's books, yeah, for sure. I understand. I really do. You're a filmmaker. Did you ever think about doing the movie yourself? Like, when you were first writing it or anything like that? Or were you just like, this is definitely, I'm the author and not good? It was going to be, like, way out of my life. <laughs> I mean, there's effects and a lot of yeah, characters yeah, yeah. and they have but funny like, actions. But, like, style. <laughs> I just, you know... It would be too big of a budget too big. for an indie movie. So, yeah. yeah, it yeah. would have been... I mean, I'm really a short filmmaker yeah. at this point. I would have been terrified of screwing it up, so I'm really yeah. happy it's in the hands <laughs> of someone so who's, you know, made a few excellent yeah, feature yeah, films Tim before. Yeah, <laughs> That seems better. I'm glad it wasn't mine. To... Not that you wouldn't have done an amazing job. I disagree. I think you would have done an amazing job. But well, Tim Burton is amazing. Thanks. I'll just be more mainstream and huge and... Tim Burton. -y. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a good marriage of yeah. mine. <laughs> it's like my brain filtered through his brain, and it's gonna be this. It's gonna be awesome. Magical. Super insane awesome. Enough to show up on the first day and be like, "Okay, guys, I got water and I got a few extras, and let's, I don't let's know, do something. Do just action." <laughs> Yeah, there's so much stress when you're at the helm of something like that. I want a few uh, feature films to mess up before I have to mess up my own work. <laughs> Come time for the Shadow Me series to happen, how involved will you be in the development of the show? So I'm really excited because I will be able to be a consulting producer on the TV show, the series, if it happens, and even in developing it and, and hoping to get it ready for a pilot or something like that. For those people who don't know what this consulting producer is, what does that mean? It basically just means they won't hang up the phone on me. Okay. <laughs> like you get to put in your two cents about everything. Yeah. It's cool, just, cool. it's just, it's like a courtesy. I actually don't know a lot of people who have had that experience with their first project. Uh, I certainly didn't when I sold the, the film rights to Shatter Me. Everyone at ABC Signature Studios was so welcoming and really kind and really wanted my input, so... That's awesome. I was really glad to be included. What about you? Did you have any input in the movie or was it more you took a step back and just kind of watched it happen? I got to read some scripts as the process went along and That's cool. say like, maybe this should be that. <laughs> But it was pretty minimal from yeah. the sidelines. But everything I saw it was very encouraging, so I didn't feel like I needed to, you know, pull the fire alarm or anything. Yeah. So knowing that, did you have any say in the casting process? Did they run it by you when they're like, okay, we're about to give this person the job? Do you think they're right? Or did you just... No. No, nothing. <laughs> no. That's, that, that's very normal. Yeah, yeah, they definitely. would almost never do that. Especially with someone like Tim. Yeah. You know, mm. he's like... The man. <laughs> he's the man. He's with the not plan. gonna be like, hey, what does this author think of my casting? He's gonna be like, I'm gonna cast this amazing person. Yeah. So they told me. And then I was like, cool. cool. <laughs> uh, what about you, Tara? Um, will you have say? Because you're a consulting producer, they should consult you. I hope so. I have no idea. I have often been asked this question, even when I was thinking about the film side of things, like who I'd want to be cast or yeah. any thoughts, and there's one person that has crossed my mind, but like I'm even afraid to like who? say, I can't, I'm afraid to say that because it would be too real now and like... Well, did the fans like that person? I think so. So, just repeating what they said. I don't know, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know any young 
actors. That's my problem. Do you watch what TV shows do you guys watch? I do watch Pretty Little Liars. You know them. You know their names. <laughs> Better Call Saul and <laughs> Top Gear. I don't watch, I watch Gilmore Girls yet. on repeat since no 1997 or whatever it's been on the air. So no yeah. CW shows. That's where I look when I'm like, okay, I need a fan cast. <laughs> well, here's the problem is we don't have cable. Oh my gosh, so we've got Apple TV. <laughs> we've got internet, yeah, so, so, so we can watch whatever. We but. watch the shows that we're like. It's just like when you want to watch the Tony Awards live, you just, there's you no. You just don't. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah. get everything. Otherwise, it's okay. Did you picture actors at all when you guys were writing for any of your characters? Not when I was writing. No, you just no. create them and stuff. Yes. Okay. Okay, we'll move on from the Dreamcast. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I want Rory from Gilmore Girls to play Juliet. There you go. That's all I got. I mean, she'd be great. <laughs> She's like 35. She's like ageless, though. She is. When you look at her, it's like, wow, wait, was that really 10 years ago? She's flawless. I'm really into like over 60 British actors, <laughs> so like, what can we put Helen Mirren in? Oh, uh, right? Judy Dench for Juliet. <laughs> she's great. classy, she's I mean, classy. she could make it work she somehow. Is. And yeah. she's in Miss Peregrine, I'm really yeah. excited. She's great, oh really? Oh yeah. my god, yeah. I didn't even know that. Are you cameoing in Miss Peregrine's? Is there a cameo? Are you allowed to tell us? No. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Wait, really? Are you lying? Uh, the answer is no, I just won't okay. tell you if knows the answer to whether okay. I can tell okay, you or so whether I have a cameo. Okay, so this is like a complicated riddle of it's a It's a secret! Oh man! It's a secret wrapped in it's mystery! It's a puzzle oh. answer! Inside a puzzle in its inception. That's, that's... okay. The dream is collapsing. So... <laughs> I'm so promising. Um, I, no, I don't have a cameo. So it's not like a permanent no, though. Um, I... with the Welsh accent and acting like a... I, can't really pass for a child. And <laughs> you can just like walk somewhere in the back. I know. It's cool. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. So, I'm just still holding out hope that you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the ultimate punk. Just would kidding. you want to cameo in your TV series? I don't know. I find it really distracting. As a viewer who knows what the authors look like, I'm like, yeah. oh god, it's James Dashner! <laughs> like, I forgot like the whole movie. Yeah, second. James Dashner. <laughs> Only for distracting for like point one. That's true. Right. For point one second, James was awesome in Maze Runner though. He was, he was just like, like, like it's on the table, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Veronica like comes up the yeah, stairs for a second. Was like, <laughs> yeah. And Stephanie Myers like in the background of the wedding. And yeah. she was eating she was at the diner. Shop, she's at, right? she's at the diner too. Yeah. But I remember the wedding one because I knew she was there. It felt like five seconds just on <laughs> Stephanie Myers. I was like, yeah. okay, I see her. Stanley. 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 Stanley's oh, cameos are getting so gratuitous. Yeah. He's cute though, I actually really like him. Yeah, no, I get excited yeah. when I see him. I'm like, there it is! I, I actually, I will say, I really do like author cameos. Yeah. Like, I actually kind of, I hope for them. Mm -hmm. Like, I love seeing Veronica and yeah. Divergent. I was so upset when John's was cut from the yeah. movie. Yeah, <laughs> but he'll be in Paper Tones. Oh, I didn't that know that. was confirmed, apparently. Oh, okay. He okay. will be Good. in Paper Good. Tones. We missed that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I might play a homeless person, I have no idea. That would be cool. <laughs> I'll just be a bundle on the ground. You could be the author floating in the sky, godlike. No. <laughs> you could be a bird. <laughs> oh, I'll be the bird. <laughs> you could be in tattoo the one form. one bird. Yeah, I'll be the tattoo. <laughs> That's a, yeah. <laughs> Don't turn that into a gift. You should tell the tattoo story. There's a story? I will make this brief because it's very awkward. It's funny. It's funny and awkward. Adam in the Shatter Me books has a bird tattoo on his chest. And my brother has a bird tattoo on his chest. I was like, that's nice. I'm gonna put that in this book. When my brother read the book, it was very awkward. Oh god. Because he was like, what the hell is this? What's this guy and in the shower? And what is happening? I'm your brother. And I was like, I know. I was just Inspired. Anyway, inspired to make it was awkward. Okay. We kept it awkward. You really, yeah. Yeah. You made it weird. Yeah. <laughs> I made it weird. That's, it's not that weird. It's just like inspiration. So, yeah. Like inspiration from everything yeah. around you. Yeah. It's not weird. It was a little weird. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. So what has been the most exciting part of the adaptation process for you so far? Going to the set. Yeah. That's been really, like, that seems like it would be the I most mean, exciting. Yeah. Seeing it happen and watching Tim Burton tell actors what to do and Did you get to talk to Tim Burton? Uh, yeah. What was he like? It's really nice. Was he like a dark nice or like you know Slightly. like creepy darkness nice? No. He's so disarmingly nice. He's like a boy scout. That's awesome. Like a dark boy scout. We've gone 
on his set visits together and they've just been so incredible. It's not even my book and when we walk onto the set I'm just like so emotional. It's, it's cool. very surreal. Yeah, yeah. it's surreal. Yeah. Not Really, mm. really surreal. Shatter Me has ended. Miss Peregrine's is coming to a close, right? Library Souls is the last one, right? Probably. Right? Okay. Probably. I was asking Jesse about this. I was like, is that the last one? And he was like, I don't know for sure. <laughs> So, I will say the story the sequence of events that started in book one comes to a close, and I'm writing something else next, but not necessarily closing the door on the world. Okay, that's cool. cool. So what's next for you guys? Well, I am working on something that I can talk about a little bit. Uh, it's cool. called Furthermore, and it does not have a firm release date yet, but it's that's not because it's not coming out soon. It will be out relatively soon. I'm really, really, really excited about it. What does relatively soon mean? Like next year? Probably. Okay. Okay. It's such a gorgeous book. It's such an amazing book. Can you tell us what genre? So it the main character is younger. Genre. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know. So the main character is twelve. But I don't. I mean, I think we're okay. we're shelving it as middle grade. But it doesn't really feel. It's not like super middle grade. It's not like super young. I feel like it's the kind of thing that people who read Shatter Me could also okay. read and enjoy. I couldn't put it down. And I am older than 12. You are very That's awesome. Tell. I'm sure it's fantastic. Yeah, this is definitely fantastic. Cool. Lots of magic and color and fun. And it's sort of like an Alice in Wonderland meets The Wizard of Oz Ooh, sort of story. Interesting. It was really fun to write. It is definitely like a book of my heart. So very excited to share. Can that. you say if it's a standalone or a series? No. Okay. I can't. Okay. Not, not because it's a secret, but because I'm still... I'm not sure. ...deciding. What about you... Um, I, it's too early to talk about it. It's okay, still, okay. But you're working on like something? Embryonic phases. Okay, so. okay. <laughs> These are vague answers. <laughs> Sorry. Vague it's vague vague it's vague. I am vague because it is vague. Okay, is it a book? Yeah, it's okay. a book. It has, like, paper with and writing words. on it and covers. Well, cool. Thanks yeah. for sharing. I'm Thanks excited for, for all your next works. Yeah, <laughs> me too. What is your ship name, like, officially? Do you have one official that you like the best? Mr. and Mrs. Riggs. That's not a <laughs> ship name. I think the... Taharansa. <laughs> yeah. People have settled on... Oh, oh, oh yeah, I have heard Ransom. Although I haven't heard that in a while. Oh, <laughs> Ransom. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming and thanks for having playing us. weird games with me and we love answering all these games. questions. We love weird well, games. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah thank you for thank having you. us. This is awesome. Yeah, of course. So I'm Christine. I'm Tahira. I'm Ransom. And that's all for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye guys. Oh, I took too long to get off. No, it's fine. It was good. It was good. I'm sorry. <laughs>